So people, I am back with another out uh, uh, this video and this is basically a continuation on from the glitch video I posted the other day uh, about anomaly builds and how you can get increased anomaly power by stacking a mod. It's obviously glitched out or bugged out. These mods shouldn't stack but for some reason they do and it allows you to get increased anomaly power meaning anomaly builds will just get much much better and much stronger. Now I've obviously built a well, complete build around this. I said it in my previous video, and today I bring you that build. Now, a few things have changed. I mean, it isn't 100% perfect yet. You can take this if you're a trickster. You can basically evolve it however you want. It's completely up to you. But the basics, the fundamentals, will be here right now today. So let's get into the video, people. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So I don't really want to go back over how exactly how this glitch works. I mean, I explained it in my last video. I mean, I just, why not? I may as well. You may not have seen the last video. Okay, so basically there's two mods. Uh, no resistance against the fortified and uh, the unstoppable force. For some reason, if you stack the unstoppable force mod on, say, three pieces of armor. I said in my previous video, four or five. I mean, you can get it on five and have the uh, no resistance against fortified on as well. If you can do that, if you can find one piece of armor with the no resistance against fortified on, and then you can put on the unstoppable force, you can rock five unstoppable forces and one no resistance. That's completely up to you, but you can see this one here does. Increases your resistance piercing by 50% of your armor piercing value. Uh, your resistance piercing buffs here, uh, your anomaly power basically increase your anomaly power by 50% of your resistance piercing so if you can increase your resistance piercing by 50% of your armor piercing value the more armor piercing you have the more anomaly you get but for some reason this stacks and it stacks weirdly and it makes your anomaly power go way way up but in my last video if you did check it out I'll show you a clip on screen now I proved it worked by taking off uh, an unstoppable force mod. You'll see that on screen now, like I said, and you'll see my anomaly power drops. But something I found out after that video, which is, it's just puzzled me. It's just, I don't even, you can try and understand it and explain it to me, people. I mean, I'm quite tired right now. It's almost, what, 12 o'clock. I've been up for hours. But okay, yeah. So basically, I was stacking the unstoppable forces. I was trying it four times. I tried it five times. But my anomaly power got to a certain point and wouldn't go up no more. So I thought, why not try and put on another no resistance against the fortified. So I did that. I put it on my boots, which I replaced um, the unstoppable force mod. And for some reason, it made my anomaly power go up. Because as you can see here, I have the exact boots. Wrong button. The exact boots. Everything's the same. And if I put these on, my anomaly power for some reason drops. I tried putting the no resistance on another um, armor piece and my anomaly power dropped. For some reason, the highest I could get my anomaly power was using two of these and three of these. It's bizarre. I don't know why it's happening, but it just works this way. And it's a stacking weird label. It's allowing me to get more anomaly power. And I have hit over, I think I hit, I think it was 574k anomaly power with a certain combo I was using. I'll show you guys in a second. Well, you see it in gameplay anyway, it don't really matter. But yeah, I ain't got a clue what's going down here. But like I said, this build, you can get even more anomaly power because you can have the gloves to this armor set, which you want to have on anyway. The armor, the edge of time works wonders with this build because we're using Cyclone, we're using Temporal Blade which we'll get to in a second. But if you get, say, the gloves or the the lower armor to this uh, Edge of Time set and you apply the Unstoppable Force to it, you can then use an epic pair of boots, which has anomaly power on it as a stat, a base stat, which will give you even more anomaly power. So the way these work is, like I said, it's all about increasing your armor piercing. The more armor piercing you get, the more anomaly power you get. And for some reason, it seems as though on weapons, when they have armor piercing on, it buffs your anomaly power. So let me swap this out for one that hasn't got armor piercing on. And you see how, how much it drops. Now this does bug out sometimes when I put this back on. There you go, look. Now if it, <laughs> when that happens, just back out your menu and go back in. I mean, these numbers are all over the place. Now that's just gone down again. For some reason, is that lower than my other one? 
Yeah, see, I don't people. Oh, it's because I haven't leveled that one up. See, I'm tired. Leave me alone. Stop costing me in the comment section. Okay, so yeah, 216 uh, K anomaly power. Now let me quickly demonstrate to you how high this can go. And this is without my melee, which also increases my anomaly power. So if I pop my uh, this, cancel that, use that, just do a, a temple blade, and you'll see it goes up to 473k. But on my skill tree, using, um, where is it? We have this here, activating your melee skill, increases your anomaly power by 30% for five seconds. So we'll gain an additional 30% people, simple as that. Which you'll see, like I said, you'll see gameplay of it in a in about a couple of minutes of this in action. You'll see how brutal it can be. So before we talk about the skill tree, the three abilities we're using: the Temporal Blade, we're using Cyclone Slice, and we're using Borrowed Time. And the reason we're using Borrowed Time is because I, I originally had this Venator's Knife, which works wonders, obviously, with the first swipe of the Temporal Blade. But I just had no defenses, people. What's the point in having a build if you keep dying? So I, I just opted to use Borrowed Time because of a lot of the um, the nodes on my skill tree. You need to use either Borrowed Time or you need to use Hunt the Prey. Again, using Hunt the Prey, it was quite efficient, but again, I was dying too much with this. You can obviously apply mud to your armor pieces. It gives you shield and it just works. It works. It does. I've tried it. I've tested it. It works. Okay, so weapons. It doesn't matter what weapons you're using. Obviously, you want to be using Fortress because you receive a 43% damage bonus based on your armor. As long as your armor's around that 50, 55k mark, you'll get the 43% damage bonus. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. As long as the weapon's got armor piercing on it, Fortress on it, you are good to go. I mean, we ain't going to be firing these weapons really anyway, so it doesn't really matter about the firepower uh, or anything like that. So don't stress over that. As long as it's leveled up, you got 30% armor piercing, you are good to go, people. And yes, people, I know someone's going to say in the comment section, well, why don't you pair uh, Morning Winds with this build? I mean, that's going to make your damage go up way more when doing challenge tier expeditions, which I 100% agree on. I mean, if you've got Morning Winds, if you've got the shotgun that comes on, I, can't, I don't know how it's pronounced, Anamoy or whatever it's called. If you've got the shotgun, yes, it, um, put Fortress on that. Use that with this build. It would be absolutely great. Problem is with me. I still don't have the shotgun. I've never had the shotgun. Never had the actual Morning Winds mod. So one mod I'm still chasing. But yes, that would be a great addition to this too. So if you've got it, use it, abuse it. Because again, that's one thing I, I do feel in the future. Along with this mod glitch, this stacking glitch. I mean, people can fly. We'll be looking into that. 100% people. 100% that thing is so powerful. I need it. But yeah, I don't have it. That's why I can't showcase to you guys it within the build. Armor, like I said, uh, the edge of time, you'll want to be using these. Um, double slice on the helmet, definitely. Chest piece I'm using, rebound, uh, because while well, the skill is active, reflect 50% of incoming bullets back at the enemy. Great for defensive, like I said. I'm using epic legs here, and I'm using slasher, where I get a one more slice in my temporal blade. Why not? Then on the gloves, I am using Grand Bastion. Using the skill reduces incoming uh, weapon damage and anomaly damage by 40%. Just a great perk. And I mean, again, defenses works wonders. And like I said, you do want, you want cooldown reduction. You want anomaly power. I'm not sure if close range damage here on these even affects your abilities, if they affect your anomaly or it's just weapons. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm pretty sure though. Someone else can uh, confirm this down below. So, but you definitely want Skill Life Leech is a great one as well. I'd probably take Skill Life Leech over that close range damage anyway, if we could get that. But yeah, Skill Life Leech, Anomaly Power and Cooldown Reduction is probably what you want. I'm not going to lie. And on the, uh, the feet, I'm using Temporal Armor. A boost on by 50% of each affected enemy lasts 8 seconds, stacks up to 8 times. This is standard on these footwear at the edge of time armor. So yes, if you got this armor guys this is quite an easy build to make i'm not gonna lie it's probably just finding these two but again if you can get that anomaly power cooldown reduction and uh skill life leech you are good okay so on to the skill tree we are using bottom tree mainly and you can just basically see this here the important nodes here are well the whole thing is important i'm not gonna lie the whole thing's important here but you want things that buff um your armor piercing so this one here, leaps of 
what does that say? Quietus, Quietus, I don't even know what that says. But activate any uh, movement skills, increase your armor piercing by 25% for 10 seconds. Okay, we want to go down, down. I don't think any of these um, help with any kind of armor piercing here. But definitely this does here, resistance piercing, you want that. Anomaly power, you want the cooldown reductions, you want more uh, resistance piercing for sure. And you obviously want to rock this too because it gives you that increase of anomaly power by 50% for 10 seconds. So you want to be using that. And like I said, we're using borrowed time. So this and this, and I believe this one here as well. Barrel time for days, people. And this one here, activating your movement skills, increase your resistance piercing by 25% for 10 seconds. So barrel time, there's a lot of damage here. Um, what does this one do? I know I picked it for some reason. When your damage skill ends, increase your anomaly power by 50% for 10 seconds. That's why I pop my... Well, it depends on what you can do. You can start off with a swipe. You can start off with the cyclone. Or barrel time, to be honest, they all come into play at once. And you get that max anomaly power. But I'd probably use Cyclone for last. So what I'd probably do is I'd probably pop my um, bow of time, use a Temporal Blade, melee, Temporal Blade, and then do a spin. Just for, well, obviously deflecting bullets and just so you get that skill life leech when you're hitting an enemy so you don't really die. And you have your shield from this anyway. And like I said, by the time you've activated all these, your shit will be back anyway. So you should be good. You should be good. Um, look, we haven't gone all the way to the end here. I don't think we need to. I mean, even though this is a great, great node and I'd have it if I could. But it's all about, this is all about that resistance piece. And again, we've got scorn and avoid here. At the end of any damage skill, increase your armor piercing by 30% and your resistance piercing by 25% for 10 seconds. Cyclone, Temporal Blade, both trigger this. I mean, the combos here are endless people. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the build. That's the build. Copy it, try it adjust it evolve it do what you want people and just let me know how it feels for you i mean i made a cyclone build the other day when i think the max i could get was about 275k i'm not certain on that i'd have to go back and look but this here it goes way 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 higher than this so yes um you'll see uh footage in the background now this build in action like i said if you have any any well you have any ideas how you could make this even better just let me know down below in that comment section people but you know what i'm gonna get off now and get some sleep because i am absolutely cream cracking for sure but guys also actually before i go this this glitch if you didn't watch my first video this works on every single class devastator technomancer pyromancer and indeed the trickster if you've got a great way or an idea on your build how you can increase the armor piercing you can use this you can stack these mods and they work absolute wonders and like i said your anomaly power will be way higher than what you're used to stacking these uh, mods and using this glitch so yes try it out if you've got any ideas on a uh, a different build on a pyro on a, a devastator on a techno you can always hit me up on my discord or twitter both linked below uh, show me a build show me what it's capable of and I may even feature it in a video to come here, never know. But guys, enjoy the gameplay of this build in action. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. I know not everybody likes the glitch. And like I said, this ain't going to be here for much. Well, but yeah, a lot of people can fly a lot with patching shit nowadays. Uh, so yeah, use this while you can. I don't think it's going to be patched immediately. But it will eventually be patched. So yeah, like I said, use it uh, while you can if this is your kind of thing. I'm off to get some sleep, as you can probably tell by my voice. I'm absolutely shattered. So yes, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
More bodies around an obelisk mechanism. Seems they were trying to activate it. 